During Marcos' regime, the Philippines once holds one of the strongest military forces in Asia so far today. The Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, and the Philippine Army are equipped with modern weapons comparing to the Asian country. The armed forces of the Philippines, equipped with modern arms from the U.S., and starting to develop a missile system. When the Cory Aquino replaces, the presidency all of them, have slowly vanished. Why did Cory Aquino, abandon Marcos' good project? Maybe because of political issues? Now let's review, the weapons used by Marcos. Hey! This the first time you visit my channel? Please click subscribe button to notify you on my latest video, and don't to forget to write comment. Besides France, the only other nation, to use the Crusader was the Philippines. In late 1977, the Philippines government purchased 35X U.S. Navy F-8 Crusader. F-8 went to the 7th Tactical Fighter Squadron of the 5th Fighter Wing stationed at Basa Air Base, Pampanga. In 1966, the Philippine Air Force received 19 F-5As and 3 F-5Bs for use by the 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron at Basa Air Base. The first aircraft arrived on October 25 to replace the F-86 Sabre in the air defense role. By 2005 only 10 were operational, and within that same year these 10 were retired from active service, leaving the defense of Philippine airspace to only a couple of his 211 basic jet trainers. The Philippine Navy acquired four high endurance cutters in 1976. First is BRP Andres Bonifacio PF7 was a Philippine Navy frigate in commission from 1976 to 1985. She was ex United States Coast Guard Casco class high endurance cutters received from the United States after the Vietnam War. Andres Bonifacio was considered the lead ship, of her class in the Philippine Navy, and she and her three commissioned sister, ships were the largest Philippine Navy combat ships of their time. Second, the BRP Gregorio del Pilar PF8, was an Andres Bonifacio class frigate, of the Philippine Navy in commission from 1977 to 1990. Third, BRP Diego Salang PF9, was an Andres Bonifacio class frigate of the Philippine Navy in commission from 1976 to 1990. She and her three sister ships, were the largest Philippine Navy ships of their time. The fourth of the Andres Bonifacio class frigate, BRP Francisco Dagohoy PF-10, was an Andres Bonifacio class frigate of the Philippine Navy that served from 1979 to 1985. President Ferdinand Marcos, there was a classified project called Santa Barbara. Its aim primarily is to develop, different types of missiles such as, ground-to-air missile, air-to-air and air-to-ground missile, for a purpose of guarding and defending the country in the Philippines. It will serve as an interceptor against incoming land, air and sea threats and if successful, the second plan is to mass-produce it, to be exported to another country. A new missile, called, Bongbong-1, was first built. It was said to have a range of 1-2 km. It was built and designed by the greatest Filipino minds, in the fields of science and aerospace engineering, with help from German engineers and scientists. These rockets were tested between 1972 and 1980s. During that time, China was still testing its missile. Since December 1972, a series of 37 dynamic tests had been conducted on the 180M rocket. The project, initiated by President Marcos, also involved testing of other weapons and armaments. In September 1975, four Bong Bong rockets, named after Marco's son, were successfully launched. Asked about why the country was experimenting in making its own ballistic missiles, President Marcos explained, the defense of the Philippines, cannot be left to alliance with, other countries. We must assume that there will be contingencies, where even the United States, may not be ready to come to our assistance. Hey! This the first time you visit my channel? Please click subscribe button to notify you on my latest video, and don't to forget to write comment.